Okay, everybody. So I forgot to mention, once you have set up your Twitter and your Facebook account, you'll want to come to your mail. And this is my Gmail account that I've set up. Um, you'll want to click on a message from Facebook to confirm your account. You'll also want to go to a message from Twitter to confirm your account as well. So we're going to do that now. And now our Twitter account is confirmed and we are good to tweet anything we want. So I thought what we would do right now is we could add a photo. I'm guessing you guys might have a photo that you would like to use. If you don't, or if you don't have one right now, I will show you how to do it. Uh, what you want to do is get to your Twitter home screen and then after you sign in, and then you want to click on this picture right here. It says add a picture. So I'm going to upload a photo or you can take a photo if you have a computer that can take photos and you can do that right now. I'm going to upload a photo. So I'm going to upload a photo from my desktop and I'm going to click on um, Frank Underwood here. He's one of my favorite people. And I'm going to apply. So there he is. So Stephanie's site is actually Frank Underwood. So you can choose your first tweet. You could say something like just setting up my Twitter and tweeting that. So that might actually be kind of fun for you guys. You can also go back to your home screen and you'll see out of the 40 people that you followed, you're starting to get some news. So if you want to scroll down, you'll see something about WTHR and the cults are returning to Anderson, NBC Nightly News, all kinds of stuff, right? So let it do something fun. We can say something like learning to tweet at, and then you want to tag or hashtag, hashtag, which is the number sign or the pound sign. It's IAPSS2016. You can tweet that out. Now, what's cool about that hashtag, it's going to appear on our profile page. You can go to this right here, and it shows learning to tweet IAPSS 2016. Let me show you something else really cool. So you see this hashtag, it, it can actually be followed and you can search for things going on at the event that you're at now. So say somebody tweeted something else about it, you could click on this IAPSS 2016 and it would show you somebody said, or the IAPSS said, thank you, and then it hashtagged it, so that's searchable. This is also a tweet from Linnell that works in our office. She tweeted something about IAPSS 2016 too. And then there's a steering committee tweet. So you can search all of those things, um, search a hashtag. If you have a hashtag, most events do. You can kind of search and see what people are talking about, which is really cool. Okay, so it looks like we have a notification here. A notification is when somebody mentions you in a tweet. So you can go up to notification and click on it. And David Mullen, who you can hover over and see who he is, and he liked our tweet. So that's pretty cool. If we wanted to go back to the Stephanie site and see, learning to tweet at IAPSS, Suggestions to follow, you can retweet something. So if you have someone that did an IAPSS 2016 tweet, or let's find something since I don't have an example and I'm not right there. Let's see what IAPSS tweeted today. So we'll just type in IAPSS, shows we're following them. And here it says, 
how should educators act on social media? And there's a link to an article which you can read. So you can retweet this and you can add a comment and you could say they should act professionally and tweet that. And then go to your home screen and it shows right here that we said they should act professionally. So Twitter is, it's not complicated, it's just more of a trial and error thing. Um, just kind of seeing how it works and trending things. There's a trending topic right here. MasterChef is trending right now, which is a great cooking show with Gordon Ramsay. So it looks like people are talking about, I think the new MasterChef season is getting ready to start. And I think it is also, they have a book coming out. So something kind of cool that you can look at. But like I said, see again, this is the hashtag, a MasterChef hashtag. And so a lot of people are tweeting about it. So it's a trending topic. I would suggest you guys talk about that amongst yourselves. I would suggest you guys downloading the Twitter app if you have a smartphone, just go to the apps and just download Twitter and you can sign in with your username. The site Stephanie is mine. And then you can sign in with your password and be able to check Twitter and check your feed whenever you feel like it. If you have any questions, again, those guys are there to help. If you, you can always email me or uh, tweet me, my Twitter handle, and I'll type it in here so you guys can see, is S Epic Daily. So um, you can follow me as well, but make sure you're following IAPSS and the hashtag, uh, hashtag IAPSS2016 at your event. And next, we will be moving on to Facebook.